ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marissa, and today I am going to be doing the Brandon Sanderson book tag. So you guys know I've been really, really into Sanderson books lately. I have... I'm reading the Stormlight Archive. I'm almost done with the third book at this point. It's taken me way too long, but anyway, here we are. Um, so I was tagged by uh, Kayla over at Crack Into a Good Book, so please go check out her channel and see her wonderful tag video. Um, and anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the questions. So question number one is, Brandon wrote many early novels while working as a night clerk at a Provo hotel. What book kept you reading late into the night? Um, so there's been a lot of books that have kept me reading late in tonight, as with any bookworm. But uh, recently, the big one is, of course, the Stormlight Archive, because they are very chunky books, and I've been trying to get through them. So, you know, of course, my first answer has to be a Brandon Sanderson novel, you know. So the next one, Brandon's complex mag magic system sets his fantasy apart. What subject do you love to read about in all of its complexity? So the subject that I like to read about the most is probably the Tudor era. Um, anything to do with Henry VIII and his six wives, I am obsessed. I've read so many novels about that point in time and just different characters within it that still touches on that time period. I'm just obsessed and have been for years. So prompt number three, as Brandon gets his book ideas from watching other storytellers fail to execute a concept well, he figures out how to do it better. What two books handle the same concept in strikingly different ways and which which do you prefer? So I would have to say the two that I really came to mind when thinking about this was Harry Dresden and Alex Verus. Um, the Harry Dresden Files is by Jim Butcher, the Alex Verus series is by Benedict Jaca, and they both are strikingly similar. I mean, they're they're both based on this wizard or warlock, and um, they both have like a, a council that is above them. They're both accused of being evil. Um, they both end up taking on these apprentices. Their personalities are strikingly similar. Their apprentices' personalities are strikingly similar. Um, honestly, I... I love both of these series with all of my heart. They are just amazing. Um, I am drawn more to Harry Dresden because he's more of the morally good character. Like, he is of the the school that even if it's a good decision or even if it's a, a bad, bad choice for the right reasons, he's not going to do it. Um, Alex is more like, oh, okay, well, it's a bad choice, but for the right reasons, I'm going to do it. So, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just drawn more to Harry, but I have a lot more history with the Harry Dresden series than I do with Alex Verus. So, you know, I, it could just be my bias, obviously. So, the next one is, Child Brandon was recommended several books about dogs that die. As a result, he becomes a reluctant reader. Please share a formative, good or bad, childhood reading experience. Um... I think one of the worst reading experiences that I've ever had, it was in high school English and they made us read read and digest and, and pick apart Shakespeare. I am not a fan of Shakespeare. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. It's just not my thing. And ultimately that didn't leave a very good taste in my mouth because I thought all books were like that, so I didn't really pick up and read a lot in high school. Um, thankfully, my dad ended up stopping at a bookstore and like buying us books and picking up books that he thought we would be interested in, and that got me more into reading. But um, yeah, it's Shakespeare for sure. It was just awful. Can't stand it. So the next one is Brandon and several friends host the Writing Excuses podcast and they frequently invite guests. Please tell us about a collaborative fiction project and what you thought of it. So really the only one that I could think of for this was The Bane Chronicles um, by Cassandra Clare and other writers and I loved the stories in there. I loved getting more glimpses and more of a deep dive into Magnus Bane's world. Um, if you guys didn't know, Magnus Bane is part of the um, the Shadowhunters Chronicles. Um, he's kind of a, you know, a figure throughout. He's lived for a long, long time, so these stories kind of delve more into his backstory um, leading up to where he is today, essentially. So I, I really enjoyed that because Magnus is one of my favorite characters from the Shadowhunters novels, so it was great. 
So the next one, Brandon's first book, White Sand Prime, was rewritten and eventually converted into a graphic novel called White Sand. What book would you like to see in another format? Um, so for this one, I would love to see the Gentleman Bastards books, um, like The Lies of Lac Lamora, Red Seas Under Red Skies. Um, I would love to see those be converted into a TV show. Not a movie, not movies. TV shows because I want them to deep dive into all of these pieces. Oh my god, I would love that and I would love to see who they would cast as Locke Lamora and Jean Tannen because mm, they would be smoking. Anyway, enough said on that. So the next one is Brandon writes very quickly. What prolific author or authors would you recommend? Um, so I'd have to say Sarah J. Maas, because I absolutely loved her ACOTAR series. Jim Butcher, of course, because I love Harry Dresden. And Benedict Jaka, because of Alex Virus And Patricia Briggs. So uh, Patricia Briggs writes the Mercy Thompson novels, and I just I have adored those for years. Absolutely love them. They're about shapeshifters, werewolves, uh, magic, all that good stuff. So wonderful, wonderful writers. So the next one is Brandon's Cosmere Universe books are grounded in platonic philosophy. What book or series gets you really excited about the source material? Um, of course the Tudor era books, anything about that. And then I start like doing some research and, you know, Googling things like what is this and what is that? And I can't think of anything specific off the top of my head, hence why I just said what I said. But yeah, it's got to be the Tudor history because uh, honestly, like, I find that time period just fascinating. Obviously, I, I didn't live it. I didn't know a lot about it before starting to read books, so I absolutely adore it. So the next question is, Brandon loves to show multiple sides of every issue and to contrast character values. Please share a book that handles controversy well. Um... I don't think any book handles controversy well. Is it a good book if it handles controversy well? I don't know. That's that's a good question. So uh, honestly, I've been reading a lot of epic fantasy lately, hence the Stormlight Archive. Um, I've also been reading A Wise Man's Fear, which is the second book in the Kingkiller Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. Um, what other book have I been listening to? Oh, I've been listening to um, The Assassin's Apprentice on audiobook, and I mean fantasies, they don't handle conflict well. That's inherently the plot of the book, <laughs> like, that they're not going to handle conflict well. So, honestly, I can't think of a good answer to this question. So, question number 10. We're finally there. Uh, Brandon Sanderson is a writing teacher, and unlike some writing teachers, he posts his lectures online for free. What free literature resource are you grateful for? Um... Honestly, YouTube. I, the YouTubers like Katie Wismer and uh, the Courtney Project, they have shared their self-publication journeys with everybody as a free resource on YouTube and I love it. Even though I'm not, I'm kind of like not really in a writing mode right now and haven't been for like a year, um, you know, I just love listening to their journeys and I love listening to their stories and how they did things and how they went about things. It's amazing that people are so willing to share their knowledge and, and kind of open up this myster mysterious world for other people to, to share and to know. And it takes these guys hours and hours and hours and tons of research to find what they found and they're turning around and sharing it with everybody else. I think it is the most wonderful thing um, when people choose to share their knowledge rather than hoarding it because hoarding knowledge is it's not going to help anyone. I think a lot of people kind of figure that you know because they they struggled to gain this knowledge that now they're going to make other people struggle and I really admire the people who don't feel that way about it like these two that I just mentioned and that they're very willing to be open and and help other people out so anyway so that was the Brandon Sanderson book tag I'm not going to tag anybody specific because I know this tag is a little older and people have been there done that so if you guys are interested in doing this tag please you know I'll put the prompts in the description box please go ahead and do it and then let me know down below if you did it so that I can go watch your video so anyway that is all I have for you guys today and I hope to see you in my next one Bye bye Thank you so much for watching my video. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I would really love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Have a great day.